It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. It has been a long time since I made a video that was not a live stream. So I figured this occasion would be special because I have like a lot of free time right now. But before I start the video, of course, you can follow me on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and more recently, Hello Talk at Tyler Preston 20. More recently, I found an account on Twitter. His account name was like Zuby or whatever. And I figured I'd do a response video to his account. And the main reason why I'm doing a response video to his account is because I kind of disagreed with his comments about Saudi Arabia. I'm not sure like how popular this guy is outside of Twitter. I'm not sure how if he has like a YouTube account or not, but uh, I figured that I would just respond to the comment about Saudi Arabia in this video because I don't think that writing tweets about like what I feel about his opinions about Saudi Arabia will do any justice. And also, I'm not going to insult this guy, I'm not going to say like he's my enemy or whatever. I don't really have enemies of anybody, like I try to be as nice to as any person as I kind of try to be. And so here's my response to the comments that he made about Saudi Arabia in a calm and also respectful way. I grew up in a country with 0% income tax, 0% sales tax, and free healthcare at the point of service. I thought it was normal until I came to the West. So this may inform some of my views on taxation. I grew up in Saudi Arabia, FYI. I know most Westerners only hear about the bad parts, but there are plenty of upscales to how they do things there. It's pretty unique. Most Westerners who go there don't want to leave. There is like so much wrong with those trees. Like, I don't know where to begin. For a starter, let's talk about the taxes in Saudi Arabia. Because as everybody know, like Saudi Arabia, of course, is run by Islam, specifically like the Quran is the government law of Saudi Arabia. And so that means that everything the Quran says in Saudi Arabia, they put into law and do it there. So basically on the issue of taxes, like people do in fact pay taxes in Saudi Arabia in the form of the Jesha. According to the Quran, it says that Jews and Christians are subjugated to paying religious taxes. So, pretty much Christians and Jews do in fact, of course, pay taxes, and they're also seen as second-class citizens in Saudi Arabia. Also, according to the BBSC, people in Saudi Arabia do in fact pay a sales tax for stuff that they buy since 2008. So, both from a religious standpoint and also a sales tax standpoint, Saudi Arabians do in fact pay taxes, no matter if they're like a Christian and a second-class citizen, or a person, of course, want to buy stuff from the store. Let's go back to that second comment, shall we? I grew up in Saudi Arabia, FYI. I know most Westerners only hear about the bad parts, but there are so many upsides to how they do things there. It's pretty unique. Most Westerners who go there to work don't want to leave. Please, please, please lie to me. What are some positives about Saudi Arabia? Is it the fact that gays who come out are publicly executed? Is it the fact that people who leave Islam can also be executed? Is it the fact that women can get beat? They also have less rights than like men in that country? Is it the fact that, of course, the women there couldn't drive until more recently because of just how backwards that country is? Is it the fact that, of course, you know, all these bad stuff that's happening in Saudi Arabia, all this bad stuff that's happening there, how can you possibly say there is some good there? Because the bad obviously outshines whatever sort of good that they have there. Because people have no human rights there. Like, literally nobody have human rights. Not the freaking women, not the gays, not the ex-Muslims. And also, you said that people who actually live in Saudi Arabia, like Saudi Arabia, including your own freaking, what was it, your mom and also your sister? Well, guess what? I'm pretty sure some do, but most people, I'm sure, do not want to stay there. They want to leave as quickly as possible because they have no rights. And my guess 
onto why you say that veterans like Saudi Arabia so much is because basically they live in their so sort of like a bubble or whatever or basically in the bubble like they don't have like the same sort of rules like everybody else because in like in Saudi Arabia of course like of course there's like communities of expats and so they're not subjugated to the same rules like everybody else and so that's why you probably say that Westerners like Saudi Arabia or whatever but anyway Wusa 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 I'm not gonna get mad right now I'm trying not to get mad right now but uh, yeah, Saudi Arabia, there's no positive about Saudi Arabia. And please, do not try to downplay Saudi Arabia. It's not a great country. Don't try to memorize, like, you know, the experiences of the stuff that people have to face there. Because of some sales tax. But what you guys think, type in this comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time.